This is part two of the video where we're finding out what the math equations are from a free body diagram. In part two, we're looking at the incline on the far right. So I've got the free body diagram already drawn. It's got a net acceleration going down the incline. I've got theta, which is some unknown angle. I have F10 going down and F8 going perpendicular to the incline. And what I want to do is turn this into two X and Y equations. But before I do that, I need you to solve a puzzle. Here's the puzzle. I have a blue triangle. It's got 30 degrees in the bottom corner, 90 degrees at the bottom, and then going up. And I've got another triangle attached to it. That's also a right triangle. And you can see at the top, I drew it so the dotted line is perpendicular to the hypotenuse of the blue triangle. So now the question is, what is this angle's measure? Stop the video and really try to figure it out. It'll stick with you longer if you actually work for it a little bit. Hopefully you stopped the video and you found the answer is 30. How did I get that? Well, when I look at this, the top left-hand corner, that's 90 degrees. And if I look at the blue triangle, I can see that I have 90 degrees, 30 degrees, and that unknown angle in the top left. Well, I know that all the angles in a triangle must add up to 180. So 90 plus 30 equals an unknown angle equals 180 or 90 plus 30 plus the unknown angle equals 180. So the unknown angle is 60. It's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Well, if that's true and the dotted line is 90 degrees to the same hypotenuse as the 60 degrees, then that smaller angle just must be 30. 30 plus 60 equals 90. So that angle is 30 and it's no coincidence that's the same angle that's in the bottom right hand corner of the blue triangle. We're going to use this to our advantage. Back to our problem. Here's our incline. I've got the net force. One of the first things I need to do is establish a coordinate system. What is the x direction and the y direction? For the previous free body diagrams, that didn't matter. They were just horizontal and vertical, very straightforward. But for this one along the incline, kind of think about it a little bit more. So I'm going to make x and y parallel to the net acceleration. If there was no net acceleration, I would make it parallel to the incline itself. By doing this, it's going to make the problems easier with less trig to deal with most of the time. Sometimes it's rare, but most of the time it'll be easier. All right, now what I need to do is I need to take my vectors and make sure they're all parallel to in the x direction and parallel to the y direction. So parallel and perpendicular to the incline. F8, it meets that criteria. It's perpendicular to the incline. It's parallel to y. Perfect. F10, no, not parallel or perpendicular to either one of these. So what I got to do is make F10 into a triangle where F10 is the hypotenuse of that triangle. So one leg of the triangle has to be perpendicular to the incline. The other leg of the triangle has to be parallel to the incline. Great. Now I've got to figure out what the angles and the magnitudes are. So from what we just did with the puzzle, I know the angle in that pink triangle in the top corner is going to be theta. So that angle is theta. Now the side adjacent to the angle is going to be the cosine function. That's going to be F10 cosine. And the side opposite theta, that's a sine function. And in this case, it's going to be F10 sine theta. So now my little pink components, they are parallel to the incline and perpendicular to the incline or parallel to the x and y directions. That's great. So as far as I'm concerned, F10, the original F10, it's not part of any of the calculations anymore. It just goes away. All I have is F8 and these two components of F10 now. So now I can create my equations. I'll do a sigma, which means sum of the forces, or sum of whatever I want to do. So I'm going to add up all the forces in the x direction, which is parallel to the incline. So that's going to be ma, because it has the arrow showing it's accelerating. And I can also tell, because there's only one force on the incline that's parallel to it, that's F10 sine theta. So ma, and that's equal to the other force that's going along the incline, which is F10 sine theta. ma goes down the incline, so does F10. They go the same direction, so they have to have the same sign. Doesn't matter if they're both negative or both positive, but they got to have the same sign. Some of the forces in the y direction. Some of the forces in the y direction. Well, there's no acceleration in the y direction, and I ignore everything that's not in the y direction. So it's equal to zero. And that's equal to all the forces up minus all the forces down. Or maybe you can reverse them if you want to. Uh, it doesn't matter because they're both equal to zero. As long as they're both equal to zero, you can switch the signs evenly. <laughs> 